I've always been a painter, I love painting in itself and uh, painting on large um, outside spaces is a, a great experience in itself. My paintings take two or three days to complete so it's a kind of an ongoing process but the time constraints and the constraints of the weather and um, the place where I'm painting, whether it's up scaffold or whatever, mean that it, it creates a kind of focus and an impetus which is unlike doing painting in the studio for example which you know can potentially go on for weeks months or years a lot of the birds and other wildlife that i took for granted when i was growing up as a child it was, just seemed to be kind of everywhere just there <clears throat> in the last 30 or 40 years so many species are becoming seriously endangered and are even heading towards extinction and this is because a combined process of urbanisation, industrialised farming and people keeping over tidy gardens and just overuse of pesticides and um, you know weed killers and things like that. People spraying their, their flowers in their gardens with insecticides, maybe often without realising impl implications for the little birds and all the other creatures that that you know used to live there so I want to make people aware of what is happening and hopefully I would like to inspire a change in behaviour so that people do more to think about wildlife and also alongside that do will have a greater effect on on our well-being too because you know those places are, are usually very nice to to be in and give give us solace especially in big cities for anybody who wants to um, embark on a, an art career I think the main, th the main thing, well, the thing that I found most important in my life is just to draw all the time or paint all the, as much as possible, and to not and to copy things and um, paint what inspires you. Uh, I mean, when I went to art college, yeah, the idea of copying it's an old way of learning, and it was completely out of favour, and we were taught not to copy. Uh, but it's. Th to learn anything we need to copy people who are better than us or whatever it is that we want to do. So you just have to copy, you know, the, <coughs> the work that you find inspiring, which you find beautiful, copy it, do versions of it and just keep on practicing and try not to worry too much about like received ideas about what makes good art because art fashions change all the time and what can be considered, you know, high art um, in one generation can can be kind of laughed at in another and that literally happens so just follow your own um, your own passion really that's that's the only way that thing you, you know I think anybody can really achieve anything of value is to do what they really love doing as much as possible.